Hey everybody, it's your old pal Merlin, back with you again to talk more about Squarespace 6. Uh, and this is the second of our videos. Uh, the first one was, uh, you know, kind of some meta stuff to get started. And now we're going to start getting into the really fun stuff. If you have not done so already, please go to squarespace.com slash back to work to sign up for a site. I'm going to say that a lot because you, you got to have one of these sites. Otherwise, this is just going to be a lot of me talking. Nobody likes that. So, so hopefully you, you've gone there and, and you've signed up. Okay. So you're logged in. You've gone to your Squarespace uh, page. In this case, I'm at uh, MerlinM.com, represented here because I'm logged in as MerlinM.Squarespace.com. Doesn't matter. Yours will vary. It'll all be okay. Uh, remember, trick number one, if you're in a view of the site, you want to get from the live view to the configuration view, you hit escape. And oh my gosh, here we are in the configuration area. So today, this first one here, well technically second, we're going to talk about collections. Remember there are collections and there are blocks. Let's talk about how you make a page. A page is a kind of collection. It's the easiest thing in the world. Um, you uh, go into your configuration area. You go here to the side rail. It's going to seem really dumb at first, but you're going to see how there's some serious sexy uh, in Squarespace 6 that I've never seen anywhere else. And, and uh, I hope it blows your mind like it's blown mine. Well, I mean, I, you know, if that's the kind of thing you like. Uh, so I'm over here in the rail. Uh, you got your, uh, this is kind of a neat thing. Uh, the top navigation, this is all stuff. That, this depends somewhat on the theme that you're using. I'm using the peak theme. There are many great uh, templates, I guess is the word. Uh, but you'll have different kinds of things available to you based on the uh, template that you're using. In my case, I have one top navigation at the top. This is kind of cool. At the bottom, you see not linked. This means pages that I've made, but I don't want to have appear in the navigation. These are content collections that I don't want to appear in the navigation. It's a great way to develop pages pseudo privately. And it's also a great way to just keep your uh, nav bar from getting, staying uh, uncluttered. So right now, I'm going to add a page uh, inside of this not linked area. And I'm just going to click on add a page. You know, again, you could create a folder, a blog, a link, or in my case, I'm going to make a page. And when I do so, it gives me the opportunity to name that page. I'm going to just call this one blank page. Now, first neat thing, notice it auto populates. In this case, blank dash page. It's taken the name that I've given it and gives me the chance to edit the URL. Well, let's just say for fun, I wanted to just say blank. No problem. And now I've got something called blank page. Remember, hit escape, and we can go. That page is already up. You can see it says blank page with no content. Sad face. Let's go make some content. Well, let's first do this. This is where it gets kind of neat, I think. It's no big deal to be able to make a page, right? Who cares? Here's something kind of neat. Page settings. Every kind of collection you've got, whether it's, I guess, especially I guess with blogs and pages, you get a neat little settings area. This gives you more granular control of what's happening on the page. In case you didn't see it there, I'm clicking in the upper right here under page settings. And you notice here it's called blank page. That's the navigation title. That's what appears up in the nav bar. So let's say for example, I just want to call that navigation title, have it be blank, but I still want the title that appears on the page to be blank page. See that happening in real time? Pretty sexy. And I still want to keep my URL as slash blank. All right? All pretty straightforward. That's subtle, but I think it's nice that they give you that granularity. So now, as you see, even though it's at slash blank, it is called blank page. Right? Not super duper interesting, but what do you see what else we can do with this? I think this is one of the coolest things ever. You go into page settings, and you can make a description for the page. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, why would I want something like this? Well, I will show you why you would want something like this. I've given a description. Thumbnail image, whoa, what the heck could that mean? Why would I want a thumbnail image for the page? I'll show you why. See that little plus sign? You can take an image from your drive and drag it onto that little block, and it uploads it to your site. There's no little special file uploading area. There's no dinguses. There's no FTP. You just drag it in, and now there's an image associated with this page. I think that's a pretty cool thing. Now you're thinking to yourself, well, what's the big deal? You've added an image that's a thumbnail. Oh, this is kind of cool too. Look, you can change the focus. If it ever has to crop this, you can change the point of focus and the cropping. Kind of sexy. So I got a thumbnail image and I've got a description. Why would I bother? Well, in my case, using this peak template, again, no content on the page yet, but watch. I hit escape. I go to the live view for this page. And now what has happened? Wait a minute, first of all, that image that I dropped in as a thumbnail is now the heading on the page. Any area, you can go in and add a thumbnail for it, and it changes in the peak template that I'm using, and it changes it up in the header. I think that's super awesome. Also, look down here. I am a demo page for Merlin's screencast. Escape to go back to the configuration area. Are you getting this? 
I hope you are, because this is really actually kind of cool. This used to be the kind of thing that was a little bit of a little bit of a pain to do. This is all drag and drop. If I want to change that image, no problem. I'll just go and get a different image and drag that in. That's all I got to do. Easy as that. The image is dragging in. It's thinking it's a very large rug, but it's thinking about it, and there it is. I can change the description of this area to be this was a valued rug. All nice and easy. You see also this is a, a nice WYSIWYG editor. If I wanted to say this was a bold face valued rug, I don't even have to know any HTML. Ah, ah, I don't know anything, I'm confused. Now let's go hit escape, pop over, and look what happened. We now have a different background image up here, and we now have a different description down here. I think that's super cool. Now why would something like this matter? Well, first of all, let's get a more attractive image up there. This will only take a sec. I love that I can change that image just as easily as going and grabbing and dragging. Uh, let's get something better than that. Let's grab... Let's, oh, this is cool. Let's get this cool Chrysler. Let's see what that looks like. This is, this is a good looking car, by the way. So you got that guy. That'll now appear up here. That's probably not the best uh, image I could have used, but what the heck. Now, why is that kind of neat? Well, you now have a thumbnail that represents that collection. In this case, this page called blank. It has no content on it yet. But I'll watch what you can do now. This is going to give you a taste of the next one of these, which is learning how to use blocks. But watch what I can do now. I can have what's called a collection link. So I go and grab this block called collection link. I drag it onto the page, and look what happens. I think I did it wrong. Let me try it again. I drag it onto the page. <laughs> uh, I haven't been sleeping much. And I can just link to the blank page in this instance. Now look what happened. In the configuration view, it doesn't look so sexy. You can see that there's a tiny little image. You can see that there's a name. And you can see that there's a description. But when I hit Escape to go to the uh, view for this page, my home page, watch what happens. I now have a link to that area that uses the thumbnail image. It uses the name. And it uses the description. Can you see how this would be useful? You want to link to your blog. You want to link to your resume. You want to link to a gallery somewhere. It's all as easy as that. I can go back at any time and change any of this stuff in the page settings for my blank page. This was a valued rug, and I want that to uh, this was a valued rug. I could change this. I could add a URL to this. Right? You're getting this? This is something anybody can figure out. This is not super complicated, but it is incredibly powerful. Let's say I want to change that image. Guys, do you remember what a pain it used to be to do this kind of stuff? This is all a drag and drop proposition. I just want you to get your head around this idea. Creating a collection is easy. It's worth going in and entering in a little bit of this text, and it's super cool because now, look, when I go to my home page, escape to go to the live preview, and those changes have now been made. I think that's super neato. Now, the next one we're going to talk about in this next screencast, we're almost done with this one, is uh, exactly how you do things with these blocks. Because I think, I, I think that's pretty amazing stuff. When I do get to the point where I want to create content on the page, it really is as easy as this. All right. so what would it look like with content on the page? Don't worry, you'll see all the magic in a minute. It's that easy, and you're putting content on the page. Now in this case, let's say maybe I want to change the way that image looks. Remember, it's all easy to do. You go to page settings for that collection. I scroll down. Let's say I want this focal point of the cropped image to be a little higher. You got to go in and play with this yourself. This, I spend all day doing this because it is totally exciting. And that's what it looks like. Again, now I'm in my preview. I go to the home page and notice that now, again, we've got my cool thing up here. We got my image. If I click that image, it'll take me into there. I think this is powerful stuff. And so when you create collections, you can create like I say, you can make pages, you can make folders. It would be just as easy for me to go in and create a blog. I'm going to go create a blog called blah, blah. And as simple as that, I'm in, I'm clicking, and I'm adding a post. It's really that easy. And I'm done.
So that's what a collection is. I get settings over here. I'm not gonna go into all these, but you get the idea. You get a lot of granularity, but it's also just super simple to use. There's nothing to keep updated. It's just super easy and fun. So that's the first one, collections. Collections are pages, collections are blocks. They're easy to make. And once they're in there, you can widgetize them and make them blocks that point from other places. So go to, if you haven't done it already, I'm gonna keep doing it. You just, you need to suck it. Go to squarespace.com slash back to work and sign up. Get you one of these accounts and go in and play. The next one is going to be on blocks. I think blocks are about the best thing ever. Uh, it's where things get super duper sexy. Uh, so thank you for your time. I love you. I do. I really, I really do. I don't just say that. You know if I was insincere. <laughs>